The coalition of northern groups, the CNG, has said uh, the most urgent task before its members at the moment was a search for detribalized politicians who are free from moral encumbrances uh, to run the elective or run for elective offices in order to uh, unite the people and secure the nation. The organization also said that nobody could stop the North from fielding and backing candidates for the presidency. They said some governors in the People's Democratic Party cannot stop the fielding of Northern candidates or political candidates uh, for the presidential elections in the party because of the resolve of the members of the group uh, to resist such an attempt. Now, joining us right now on Plus Politics is the Director of Strategic Communications Coalition of Northern Groups, Samaila Musa. Good evening to you, uh, Samaila Musa. Thanks for joining us. Yes, thank you. Good evening. All right. The uh, CNG uh, has stated this position. I just want you to run us through why uh, your group is insisting uh, that uh, Northern candidates must be allowed to participate, especially you in particular about the People's Democratic Party. Okay, yeah, that's a very uh, uh, important at this particular juncture that we are, especially uh, uh, having noted that some particular uh, uh, persons are trying to overheat the polity, uh, either by some uh, brigandage or some, uh, you know, uncalled for utterances that shouldn't be heard from, uh, you know, perceived uh, leaders. You know, so that is actually uh, a source of concern to us at the CNG because we felt uh, it shouldn't be. You see, let me quickly lay this background. That politics is a game of negotiations. It's a game of persuasions. So when people who ought to stick to the rules of the game, I'm talking about the politicians, are uh, actually, you know, leaving uh, politicking and going into issuing threats or, or making some utterances that are unwanted or unwarranted at this uh, particular time, uh, you begin to feel like uh, maybe we're having some militants, you know, or some uh, terrorists in, uh, in the guise of politicians, you know. So that actually is uh, a source of concern to us, and that's why at this particular time we're actually coming out to be quite very vocal about uh, our position and our stand. Mm. Now, having said that, uh, while the PDP is of particular interest at this time is because we noted that there's a particular uh, uh, scheme uh, there's this grant scheme going on uh, within the the, uh, the players, especially uh, those players from the southern part of the country, to shut the door against uh, politicians. And we felt there's a need to actually remind them that out of the 16 year of PDP rule in this country, 14 of those 16 years actually came from the south. You know, so it's very important to remind uh, uh, some of our, our southern uh, uh, governors or politicians that. It was only two years that the North actually enjoyed uh, the presidency under this particular uh, party. Hmm. Okay. So that's uh, essentially the reason but, but, why. But, but Sumaila Musa, you have you have the, the conversations around uh, zoning ahead of the twenty twenty three uh, presidential elections um, all over. You know, you're talking about different political parties um, uh, and different uh, elective positions. Why the particular focus on the People's Democratic Party? And why the particular focus on the presidential election? You see, there's no how you want to talk about zoning without talking about PDP, because that was actually their brainchild, ab initio. You know, I mean, that's uh, it's something they actually brought, even though they said, oh, it was in principle, it was not uh, something that is actually in the constitution of Nigeria as it is, you know, but they started it. And so uh, when in 2015, or in 2011, some elements who are coming out today to say, why should you not talk about zoning, where the same people who jettisoned the zoning arrangement in 2011 and say, no, uh, uh, the then president will have to contest because uh, as far as they are concerned, the zoning does not really hold water. And then they, said they did the same thing. And I think uh, it's very important to also remind you that in 2015, it's this same uh, zoning issue that actually uh, uh, sink or sank, almost sank the PDP uh, at the time because, you know, uh, some persons felt we should have stick to this zoning arrangement, but the same Southerners say no, uh, it, uh, actually. So, and that was how uh, you saw some governors actually pull out of the party because they felt no, uh, the, the, the North has actually been so changed. And so the same people are the ones who are actually championing 
uh, the zoning arrangement. Now, you mentioned uh, that across different political parties. Well, you see, uh, the APC hasn't actually come out to tell you whether it's actually zoning or not zoning. You know, so that's why we actually cannot mention. And, you know, when you talk about, you, there's no how you're also going to talk about other parties without mentioning the ruling party at this particular time. And the ruling party hasn't actually come out to say this is where it is, is I mean, swinging it to. So we're going to just, you know, give them the benefit of doubt to say, well, we believe they're going to play uh, by the rules to say, well, it's, let's, let's be fair to all. I mean, but it's very important to sound this at this particular juncture again to say that, look, Nigeria is in a total mess as we speak right now. There is people are coming together to, you know, put hands together. I mean, put hands, all hands on there to see how we can salvage what is left of this country it is a time where we should be talking about the quality of individuals who are coming out and not particularly about where these individuals are coming out okay so, so, so where, Suma, Suma Musa, you, yes so, out Suma Musa, yes. you you did talk about the fact that um uh, the people's democratic party had ruled um for 16 years from 1999 yes. to 2015 and out of those 16 yes. years uh, the north northern part of the country held sway for only uh, uh, f two out of the 16 years uh, in as far yes. as the presidency is concerned. Um, so in, in yeah. other words, you are looking for uh, a fair and just, you know, uh, sort of arrangement to be, uh, to, to at least carry everybody along. I believe that's what you, you're saying, that, you know, if the PDP as a party has people from all sides of the country, they should be carried along. So it's not just one part, which is the South, that should be handling or occupying power. I believe that's what you're saying. Yeah, exa exactly the point. The point actually is like I was making this point uh, to say that Nigeria is an actually in a, in a mess right now. Nigeria is in a doldrum that we need capable hands. But it's also important to say this, that wherever the man who's got the credentials to pull Nigeria out of this doldrum is coming from might not matter in the long run. But when the umpires or the people who are seen or perceived to be uh, the leaders of the party begin to go around with some uh, uh, brigandage, some campaign of calumny against a particular section or trying to sort, I mean, shut the door against a particular section of the country, especially the North at this particular time, is not something we're going to sit back and, and watch. We're not okay. going to allow that to happen. Okay. Okay. So, so, so in the interest okay, of... Um, of fairness, I mean, you know, anyone who hears that, oh, in the in a party like the People's Democratic Party, uh, for the 16 years that you had the, the position or occupied the presidency, um, uh, that the North has produced a president for only two out of those 16 years, that would be really sad for anyone to hear. So I believe you're speaking in the interest of of um, federal character and in the interest of equity, you know, and justice for all parts of the country, and then you've you've agreed that you're doing that. So let's, let's look at the, 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 this in the context of Nigeria as a whole. The reason why the People's Democratic Party um, is elected to go with um, uh, Olusha Gombasanjo um, when Nigeria turned to, to democracy in 1999, or with a southern candidate or a southwestern candidate, uh, are, are not far-fetched. You're aware of this, uh, Sumaila Musa. So it will be uh, yeah, a bit sure. of um, changing the narrative or twisting the narrative some might argue if you say that oh the north has only occupied for two years because this is the larger picture is nigeria and the only reason why the the pdp decided to zone this to the south was because nigeria was coming out of years of military rule and the 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 the, 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 the heads of states were all from the north we can look at after shagari we'll have who north um yeah uh, uh, um uh, uh, you had uh, uh, muhammad buhari north you had uh, ibrahim babangida north you had um, Sani Abacha North, and you had Abdul Salam Abubakar North. This is five, you know, over two decades. You you, you move from there, and of okay, course you now realize. Okay, let me correct you right there. Let me, yes. let me so, so, you. And then you, you, you've also left yeah, out Muhammad Buhari's right eight years. Let me correct you right there. You see, if, if you want us to go the route of counting the years of the military, those are barbaric years. Those are years we don't even want anybody to remind us. We're actually, you know, leaving all that behind us. Nobody within the military rank will tell you that they actually came together, sat down, and consulted with anybody before plotting or staging any coup. These are people who came to power using all manner of brute, all manner of force, you know, 
so really, I, I but what Sumaila Musa, there, there was a reason the why there was a reason why the People's Democratic Party said, you know what, let's allow someone from the southern part of the country produce the president. Okay, let me tell you the reason why that happened at the time. The reason why it happened at the time was that the man who was perceived to be the winner or the winner of the uh, uh, June 12th uh, uh, in 1993, uh, uh, as it were, is uh, M.K. Abiola. So, you know, in the interest of uh, uh, what Nigeria to say, okay, look, this man contested. Yeah, it was a military president who oversaw the election and the election was adjudged to be free and fair. You know, it's only fair if or some person, some military also came on, on a, a grab power, you know, through the back door again and denied him that mandate, you know. And now that the man is gone, what can we do to salvage what is left of this country in terms of unity? Is to say, okay, let's allow somebody from that particular region to occupy that seat. And I believe oh, quite a lot of uh, 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 southwestern Nigerian uh, uh, folks who uh, are perceived to have the credentials at the time were actually contacted about well, three or four of them. I'm aware Wally Shoinka was, was contacted. I'm aware uh, uh, Richard Akejude, SAN, uh, you know, bless his memory, was also contacted before even he came to Obasanjo. So we're just, they were, at the time, they were just shopping for someone who's got the correct credentials, someone who is upright, you know, someone who can actually uh, stabilize the country until, the, you know, the, 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 the baiting fall on, uh, on, on Olusha Gun of Asanjo at the time. So really, you will see how this whole thing played out. And immediately after that, the PDP decided to say, well, they want to stick to this some form of a zoning arrangement. But I'm telling you, the same people from southern Nigeria, you know, felt no. Because power was with them at the time. They felt it's high time we jettison all this arrangement. It's not really working. It's not going to take us anywhere. It's about competence. It's about who can rule Nigeria. I mean, who can, you know, uh, uh, drive Nigeria to the promised land and do it better and all of that. They came up with all manner of, uh, you know, of theories and, and stuff. So the same people today are the same who are now advocating to say, oh, no, we have to go back, we have to revisit that zoning arrangement. And we're saying in the spirit of fairness, even if you want to say zoning, you have held power for 14 out of 16 years of this, your party. So it's just fair enough for you to say, okay, let's give this uh, opportunity to some of our Northern folks. But we're not even saying do that, we're just saying, Leave it open. Whoever has got the credentials, allow Nigerians to decide at this particular time. We perhaps, if you feel you know it's high time, we just still zone in. No problem. That's fine. but but if if if, if you if you, you if you, but you don't you, you cannot um uh, you know uh, you cannot exclude the the fact that Muhammad Buhari is from the northern part of the country and he has been president uh, for the last eight years. You cannot exclude the fact that. Uh, both leading parties in Nigeria, the APC and the PDP, both zoned the last presidential uh, election. They, they had northern candidates. Um, so if you look at eight years of a northern candidate, if you want to look at fairness, would it be fair to have the PDP uh, elect an, an Atiko Abubakar or elect an Aminu um, uh, Wazir Tamwa or elect a Bala Mohammed uh, to come be there for 16 years again? Look. What we are even advocating for at this particular time is to say, we agree with you. You preached this in 2011. You also preached in 2015 that there's no point going by zoning arrangement. And we're saying, fine, we want to stick to it. Now, if you want to go the route of saying, oh, a Buhari is from the north, are you saying the PDP and the APC is one party? No, I'm because, saying, like, I'm saying the know, Nigerian presidency is one. It is one, but it has to come under a platform, a platform of the party. Do you understand? So the, the one party shouldn't decide for the other party. That's the reality on ground. And the APC hasn't come out to say they want to go by the zoning arrangement. So we do, I don't even want us to, to drag all, the drag APC into it because we've not, we don't know what they want to do yet. Until that time, we also going to be vo very vocal. We're going to come out quite very vocal about whatever it is that we feel is actually uh, uh, anti north But for now, the PDP is the one who's displayed this by some few elements actually within the party who want to go the militancy way to say, no, 
you know, because you see, all the things we're even talking about can actually be judged out, can actually be dialogued, can go the way of persuasion. You understand? When the active players decide to say, well, between us, we agree that we have got to have a consensus candidate and the person of so so X, Y, and Z. It's a different thing where some persons begin to go the, uh, the, the, the you know, you start using gutter language. To so, so talking talking about gutter language, talking about gutter language. You also, yes. your, your group also in that statement talked about you. You know, you talk about someone who's being brash and you know engaging in brigandage, and now you've talked yeah, gutter yeah. language. Um, um, and you mentioned yes. your a governor from the south in that you know statement from your group. So, which governor is this you're referring to? It's it's it's, it's we okay. You and I know the way he's been going about these things. We we're making governors in Nigeria to look like you have to be a garage boy before you can emerge as anything in nigeria we're beginning to make people like governor wiki to look like you have to be a tout before you can amount to anything in nigeria i'm even ashamed to let my own children watch people like that on tv vituperating the way he was doing you know everyone has been going in, in a very civic manner the way both apc and pdp between them they, everybody's actually been carrying out their engagements their consultations in a very civic manner you know respectfully you understand these are people who are men of honor because these are leaders of the country and then one of them chose it, and governor Wiki is not the only one from the south and you and i will agree with me today that in nigeria there's nobody who okay we, 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 we have out like he's doing okay so so you 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 you're referring to here some weekend i'm happy you you you're open about it and honest about it um he the governor of river state yes a week he had called on the people's democratic party um, some days ago, to uh, to to treat the South South fairly, and he said that the South South is always called the pillar of the PDP. You know, he said the pillar, but it's not only when the party needs help, maybe financial help or support or stability, that they should turn to the South South. That they should also remember um, to be fair to the South South uh, or the southern part of the country when it comes to sharing of offices. Um, you know, and of course, it's documented the role that um, states like River State have played, uh, you know, led by Yeson Wiki. For the PDP, you know, in a time in Nigeria where the, the party does not control the, the leading states in the country that have money, you're talking about Lagos State, River State, and Kanu State. It is the states controlled by the PDP in the South South that have um, funded, you know, their counterparts, you know, with giving donations and grants and all that. So what do you say to that, very quickly? You see, I'm not a member of their party. What we're just saying is make sure you create a level playing ground for everyone to participate. You can bring, you can bring those assertions. I don't know what went down, I mean, between them as a party. They can decide to say, well, some people, of course, in any country or in any climate, some persons will have to fund the party, especially when you're op in opposition. You know, and if River State happens to be one of the richest in the country, I mean, it has its own volition for him okay. to want to fund the party. You okay. know, so really, it's at his own discretion to do that. But that is not enough for him to begin to make the, the climb to look like you have to be a tout before you can try. Those are strong words it's from you. For Those are strong understand. words for you, Sumala yes. Musa. He might argue that it was a northern group that bought his presidential nomination from for him. But anyway, we will talk about that some other day. Uh, Sumala Musa is the uh, strategic communications director of the coalition of northern groups who are calling on the PDP to open their presidential um, aspirations or, or role or rather um, position and contest to people from all parts of the country, including the north. Sumala, thank you very much for your time.